Okay, we're back again here. We're going to look at creating users now. You'll notice that I've logged in back into my Bill Solaris system here. I'm back in as Bill. I'm back in as the generic user. Easy to tell, dollar sign. All right. So what I want to do now inside this, this, this system now is I want to create users. Well, Bill can't create a user. Well, let's try that. User add. I'm going to create a user called Demo. Capital D-E-M-O. Keep in mind in Unix, capital letters and lowercase letters are two completely different entities. So if I press enter, I get this message, permission deny. Permission deny, cannot log in created, etc., etc., etc. Basically, what this means is that Bill, as a generic user, notice dollar sign, does not have the permissions to be able to create any users, all right? In order to create users, I have to either log in as somebody who has permissions, for example, the administrative role of root, or another user that has another service role or something that's been allocated to them here. So right now, I'm going to log in as root. Let's use space, R-O-T, all right, type in the password. Type it incorrectly. Again, not viewable. I've succeeded. I'm now logged in as root here. All right. So now let's try create a user here. I'm going to do this very simply. I'm going to use the word user add, and I'm going to put in a name. Okay, D E M O. Okay. Now, when I type in user add demo, when I press enter, nothing shows up no error messages actually no success messages comes in so for all intents and purposes <laughs> nine times out of ten this means that something worked well let me clear the screen just so we have a little larger workspace to see and i'm going to try the display user id command we talked about in an earlier video and i press enter and let's look here's the list before we had root all the different users and lo and behold we have the user called demo Therefore, the user demo was created. Let me clear the screen now for a second here. All right, let's type in get ant, all right, P-A-S-S-W-D. This get ant password, it opens up the password file, and it gives you a lot more information. And it looks down here, and there's some things that you notice. Bill was created earlier when I set the system up, and he got the number 100, and there is a group, default group called number 10. We'll look at that later. And his name... His common name is Bill, all right? There's the user ID and there's the name. Slash export home Bill is his home directory here. Look at demo. There is a user ID called demo. It is given 101, which is the next user that was created after Bill. They automatically end up in the same default group. Again, groups we'll talk about later on. But you'll notice there's like, like just the two colons together here, whereas here it had Bill between the two semicolons all right so between these two semicolons it's blank so that means i didn't give this person or this user a common name however in slash export home demo the user was created let's take a look at what it is let's type in pwd to find out where we are right right now we're in export home bill okay let me clear the screen again just to give us a little bit more working space right so let's type this pwd again i'm in export home bill let's change it now in order to change directories as in before cd is the one that changes the directory okay and if i go space dot dot it takes me back all right one step so it took me out of bill back into home so now i'm in root bill slash export slash home let's type in pwd and again, same thing. You'll notice the difference here. When I did that CD space dot dot, it went from slash export slash home to slash bill to export slash home. All right, now let's look at what is in here. Let's go LS, right, for listeries, li listings. And you'll notice it says a bill. Well, wait a minute. There is no demo. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go back one more step further here. Now, go PWD, and I'm in export. And by the way, if the location is small enough or short enough to be able to fit in on the command line, it shows it to you during root at bill in export home. But when it gets too long, right, for example, export home bill, there is a tilde, and that just replaces this length in here. And you'll notice I'm in export. So let me just now again do LS, all right, home. Okay, so let's go CD, 
slash home. Let's move back up into the home directory. So I'm now in, I am now, let's look at where we are though. Now, this is an interesting thing here. Please note that I typed in CD slash home. All right. Well, what it did, it took me out of export to a folder, a root folder called home. Now, if I go LS, right, there's nothing there here. All right. LS dash L long listing. There's no files here. The default in Solaris is not to put users home directories in slash home. It is to put users home directories in slash export slash home. So if I go slash export, I'm going to jump directly into export.home ls dash l and it only shows me bill. Well, I did create the user called demo, but that user add command, it just creates the user. And for example, when I type in user add demo, it just creates a user account. Even though it shows and theoretically creates a home directory, it didn't give any permissions to that home directory. That home directory, in all reality, never got created. So by using the command user add demo, what it means is all it's doing is creating a user with an account called demo. There's no password, no anything else. In other words, it's just taking up space. It's not doing anybody any good at this point in time here. By the way, let me clear the screen for a second here. Again, give ourselves a little bit more working room here. All right. I'm going to stay in. I'm still the root person, right? So I'm still the root. I'm in this folder, and I'm going to create user add demo again. So in other words, user add, right, D-E-M-O. Now, the, that account theoretically has been created. So if I press enter, right, it tells me it's already there. So I can't do anything about it here. So if you ever get into a situation where you create a user, you can now do two things. One, you can go to user mod, U-S-E-R-M-O-D space capital D-E-M-O and type in the commands to modify the user or you can delete the user. And right now I'm just going to delete the user here. I'm going to go user D-E-L space D-D-E-M-O, right? Because it has to be capital D. Let's try this. If I put a lowercase, watch what happens. Demo is not a valid. Well, it's not there. So it's this shows you how important case sensitivity is in Unix. D E M O, and I press enter. All right, and I said user at. Oh, I made a mistake. I didn't want to add him again. I wanted to go user D E L. Demo. I get no error messages here. So let me clear the screen again. Let's type in display UID, press enter. Oh, demo is gone. Let's clear the screen. Let's do another check here. Let's use another one. Get ent, PSWD. And again, there's Bill. All right. User add with the person's name or a user account's name. For example, user add space demo, all it does is it creates an instance of a user login account. It doesn't create the full account. It doesn't create any active account. It just takes up a space in the system.